Let's just get out of here. What? Okay, you're not gonna attack me, are you? Ah, jeez. Come on. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Just quite a bit of slow down there. Let's just get back to our uh, get back to our outpost here and call it a wrap. <laughs> oh wait, no. No, no, no. There's something I obviously have to do before we conclude this. No, for a second I thought I saw, I thought I saw a pig in my base. <clears throat> now remember the saddles that we just got? Apparently you could put them on pigs. So, and I hear a zombie. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, if you take a saddle and strap it on a pig, uh, not you. You're not deemed worthy. You. And then if you right-click it, you can actually get on top of it and ride it. You can't control it, though. You're kind of just along for the ride. What the? Where are we going, pig? Ah, what the blazes? That pig killed me! That's evil, evil, horrible demon pig. <sighs> yeah, sure. Zombies don't kill me, creepers don't kill me, spiders don't kill me. No, none of that. It was a pig. <laughs> ah, that's me, alright. That's just the way I am. You still have that evil saddle on. What happened? No, no, I don't think it actually tried to kill me. I'm pretty sure it was just a, uh, just a, a, a clipping glitch or something. No. All right. God, that was stupid. Where's that saddled pig? I want my saddle back now. Oh, you don't get the saddle back, do you? Well, that's kind of a pain. I have quite a bit to accomplish in this episode. In fact, I want to collect five brand new things before this episode ends. Can I pull it off? Fortunately, the first one's very easy. Uh, if you recall, we got a lot of um, gunpowder from those creepers that we were lucky enough to fight. And so, for the first time in this world, we are going to construct a very fun item by sacrificing all five of the uh, gunpowder we have and surrounding that with four blocks of sand, we get a block of TNT. Sweet. TNT is very dangerous. It basically has a very powerful explosion. I'm not going to use it yet because, quite frankly, it is not time. So yeah, we've got a block of TNT now. If I find an interesting place to use it, though, I'll definitely will, so we can show that off. There's no way I can go without having that explode. Who knows, maybe before this episode's over. Okay, so the second thing I want to do is a bit more challenging. If you recall, or actually I don't think I said this, there are three types of blocks in, um, in the nether. We already got two of them, and we made labs for both of them. There's, there's a third stone there, though, and I, well, actually, it's not stone, it's more like dirt. So, my goal is to actually go out there and safely collect some. So let's do it. You may be wondering, why don't I have any inventory? Well, I learned something very interesting recently. Um, I, some of my comments said this earlier, but I thought I would finally test it out now. Apparently, the, uh, the ghasts, the... Whoop. Those things... Those things can shoot projectiles at you, but if you punch at the exact right moment, you can actually hit them back. Let me try. No. Okay. Come on. Fire.
Now. I'm trying to do it at the safety of my own house here. Ah! Ooh, okay, that's not helping. Oh, wow, it does work! <laughs> that's so funny! Oh! Oh, wow. Jeez, it knocked the... Knock the door hinge right off the door. Huh. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. That's obviously not working. Oh, geez, it destroyed the, um... It destroyed the workbench. So, yeah... Okay, it works, but I don't recommend it because one, lag can throw you off, and two, it's you're gonna suffer serious damage if it does work, if it doesn't work. So yeah, it works, potentially fun, but not recommended. Okay, good, there's no serious damage to note. Alright, let's go on a scouting mission. Should be fine as long as I avoid these guys. Once again, I'm bringing nothing, so I have nothing to lose. Come on, come on. Leave me alone here, leave me alone. I'm just scouting. Is that such a bad thing to do here? Ah, there it is. See that brown stone over there? That's what I want. Question remains, how can I pull this off without getting myself killed? Oh. Okay, think. Think now, think. Oh, there's some right over there, too. Cool. Ah, I should have brought more meat. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Uh. Uh. Oh! Okay, I got it. Oh, and I died. Okay. Yeah, I got back here, but I noticed rather annoyingly that they actually destroyed the door. Which means I should probably see what I can do about that. Oh, wow. I didn't expect them to destroy the steel door. I didn't know they had that kind of power. If they can destroy a steel door, what else can they get through? Can they get through the cobblestone? Okay. Let's go. We saw some over here, so now all I have to do is obtain it before something happens to us. One. Two. Three. Well, two anyway. I notice that my movements are also slowed down when I walk on it. Okay. Three. That's good. I'll, I'll just get them in small increments, I guess. Ooh, four. Okay, so I'll do the same thing that I did with the, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is surely the music I think of when I'm running away from those things. Alright, let's go. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? What the? What the? What the? Okay, I'm not getting out of this one, am I? No. Okay. I've died so many times, but you know what? I've collected quite a bit, so I'm very happy with myself. So behold, my latest creation. My latest laboratory, rather. It is the Slow Sand Laboratory. Evidently, this stuff is called Slow Sand. Which is interesting, to say the least. Yeah, apparently there's not much to it after all. Um, if you walk on top of it, you'll slow down, and you sort of sink into it a bit. And obviously it has the sort of creepy, creeper face appearance thing there. 
it's cool in a creepy sort of way, actually. So I took a lot of the, uh, a lot of it and just you know made it, made it the walls of my room here, and then I took anything that was left and you know just kept them there. So yeah, slow sand. Now we have archived all three of the major block types from the Hell region. So yeah, cool. All in the basement and ready to go in case something new or interesting, like some kind of new development comes up with them. Alright. The next thing I want to show is um, something that I crafted earlier. I made the fishing rod here, but it hadn't been capable of doing anything until today. Or, well, it's been capable of doing stuff for a while, but I decided to try it out today. So, I'm gonna try to fish and see if that produces any interesting results. It didn't work. Hmm. Interesting. No. How can I tell if it's working? Oh! Oh! Oh, do you see that, guys? I got some fish! Excellent! Let's get even more. <laughs> it's like Animal Crossing all over again. I don't know, do you guys want to watch me play Animal Crossing? It's kind of like this, but... It's very less dangerous. Sweet. Although actually, playing Animal Crossing would would entice the fact that I would have to destroy my current world to build Animal Cro my new Animal Crossing world, and that's not happening. So actually, yeah, forget Animal Crossing. That's probably not going to happen. Got quite a bit of fish actually, so let's check it out. Apparently, you can uh, cook it. Oh, hey, iron. Forgot about you. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get rid of the feathers for a second here. Let's put a fish in there and you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what's coming up? What's coming up? What's gonna happen? Oh boy, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh boy! Oh my god, roasted fish, yeah! Now let's see. And I also built this right here, just just. Uh, I'm gonna store fish in there from now on, just because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna flood my my inventory with fish very soon. Whoa! Do you guys see that? Am I still recording? Yeah, I was still recording. Jeez, do you guys see that? For a second, my um, my chest actually caught on fire. How the hell did that happen? Huh. I'm kind of scared now. You know what? I'll just put one random survivor fish, some raw fish that I don't feel like cooking. Because I like fish. Alright, so that's another thing we can do. We'll put the rod in there too, it makes sense to store the rod with the fish. Now then, I believe there's one last thing I want to do before I call this episode quits. And it's going to be the hardest thing of all. Um, recently there was one, there was another thing added to the update, and it's apparently pumpkins. Jack-lantern pumpkins. And... The tricky part about them is that they spawn weirdly. Specifically, I heard that they spawn only in places that haven't been rendered yet. So in order to find jack-o'-lanterns, I actually have to travel to some place I've never gone to before. Which could turn out to be not so great. But you know what? I think I might just have to do it. Well then, I think I know where I can try. My world's going to be so bad. Big by the time I'm done with this. Ugh. Oh well, no use complaining. Let's go!